During this demo, we're going to use the um, slab beads. These are brilliant. I love these new beads. Lovely shape, a square, but, but with a twist. Um, so you get a really nice texture. So I've put them on a bracelet and the bracelet is basically a cubic right angle weave. And obviously this bit is the bit that goes along your wrist. So I haven't put any on there. But I think it's so effective and it's got a really good weight to it. So sometimes you get a piece of jewellery and you think, oh, yeah, that feels really, really good. So we're going to start off with the right angle weave. I've used all four from this kit, but you could do this self coloured. It doesn't have to be multiple coloured. Um, then you've got your 11 O's that are the bits that are on top and your sorry, your 11 O's and your 8's. Now, I've actually added an extra colour of eight purely for this demo so that you can see when we're doing this right angle weave. OK, so we're going to start off with the right angle weave part and we start off with four. It's a cubic right angle weave, as the name implies, is right angle weave, but you form a cube. So it's a 3D version of the right angle weave. So we're starting off with the four beads and I'm going to do a couple of knots. I usually do about three knots to secure it, put four beads on and three knots and you get your first set of four. So now we work around these and with the same with most projects, the first couple of rows, once you've done the first couple of rows, you're away. But the first couple can be a little bit fiddly. So don't panic if you think, oh, gosh, this is fiddly. It's not all fiddly. So I'm just going to slide that out of the way a bit so we can move all of these up there there we go so we've got our first four on then you're going to add three so you've then gone through one of the eight o's and you're going to add three of your next layer and you're going to go back through that same bead okay so you've got your next one now this would be if you were doing it flat this would be the start of your flat but you're not you're going to do cubic so you're going to go through the next initial 8 -o. don't worry if it pulls a little bit then we're going to add two beads because we've got one here and one there so this will sit up now don't worry the first row won't stay in position so you're going through the side one of your first um next layer and the back through the same um first layer then we're going to turn the corner so you can see automatically it pulls up a bit you then go through the next silver one and you're adding two again. So this is side three we're creating. If you think of it like um, walls of a house, so you've got the floor, which is the silver, and then the blue ones are the side. So you're going through the side blue and then back through the silver. So we've now got three sides and you can see the next three at the top. We want to go through that last silver one. And I'll move my fingers out of the way in a second so you can see. Like I say, it can be a bit fiddly, especially when you're trying to hold it for a camera. So we're going to pull through that last one. Now, we don't need, we've got a side one there and a side one there, so we only need the top one. So go, go through the first set, first side one of the first layer. Add your top bead, just the one, and come down through that side. Okay, and I'll pull that two and then go round through the bottom. I'm just going to do it to there before I show you so that I can secure it into place. Right, so now we've got our first cube. So you've got the four on the bottom and then at each point you've got four beads and at the top you've got another four beads. So we're going to work our way to the top. So if you don't see this sort of cross of four beads then you've gone wrong somewhere. So we're going to go through to the top and I'm going to go around all four of the top beads to secure it into place. Once you've got that, it starts becoming a bit easier. So go through the four beads and then back through that first one. So you're now effectively building your next story of your house. So we've come through this one. I'm going to do it in silver. We want three silver. We're going to go back through the one we first thought of that's our next layer then we're going to go along to the next one of that base pick up two silver come down through that side silver 
through that base you've just come through you've got your next four turn the corner go through that base layer pick up your next two silver go through that last side silver through that base again turn the corner so now you can see these coming round these two side ones so you've got through the base one through that first side silver you can do it separately or together pick up your last silver to form this square and then all the way around this loop to pull it into place there we go and now we've got our next set of four 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 and four on the top so go through the top four each time if you solidify this it just helps firm up your um, rope and especially since we're putting the slabs on it there's quite a bit of weight in this project so we now got a section building up keep that going till you've got the length you want for your bracelet or if you want to make earrings the length of your earrings um, and then when you've got to the side you want go through again to, to really sort of secure that in place so I'm going to move on now I've got a length for earrings so I've, I've um, you can keep this going for the full length of there or you know make it shorter for earrings or you can use these as beady beads because there's an actual channel that goes all the way through so you could feed those either onto thread onto wire you can do all sorts of things with these you can start making shapes now as it sits you've got all these sets of four on top we're actually going to use the corners now i know it sounds a bit daft but it does work so as you come from the top you've come out of your one at the top there's your four you're going to go down through the ones that are crossways so so you shouldn't have to turn your needle these you'd have to turn through that way you're going top to bottom so you're going through that first one pull my thread now on this bracelet i've used the four colors and sort of graduated them I counted the number of these gaps so you can see you've got one two three four five six on here counted the number on the the bracelet found the midpoint and then laid out the beads into a line like this so as I could pick them up that's because I wanted a, a sort of specific graduation you could do them randomly you can do them all the same color if you're doing them all the same color or random just start from the one end and work to the other if you want to do it so that they graduated i would start in the midpoint so you're going to pick up a bead pick up one of your 11s slide them down now we're going to go back through the slab bead but not the 11 the 11 is stopping that thread coming out so we're going to go back through that bead and then we're going to go through the next cross of our bead that's on the 90 degree angle pull that down till your thread comes through and there you've fixed it now i've crammed them on every one these beads are just a little bit too big hence they overlap and squidge and, and turn but you could do them so that you could skip one go to the next one and have them a lot more spaced if you wanted so we'll do that again we'll pick up one of our slab beads pick up our 11 okay miss the 11 and go back through the slab and then back through that horizontal um, bead on your cross now keep doing that till you come down and then turn around and go back up now if you were doing earrings I would do it on all four sides because then they can turn and you might find you have to nip a few because they get really it will get really crammed on if you're doing the bracelet I've literally gone down two sides so there's two lots that I haven't done because you want that to lie flat on your wrist without that would be a bit more uncomfy and you never you're not going to see it so what's the point that lies so much better on your wrist so you only have to do two two lots and they'll push themselves so they don't line up like i say the gap is slightly smaller so they'll push themselves and you get this beautiful cover in almost a semicircle 
and then all I've done at the end is I've come out through here added on six of my 11s in through there go back a few times to form a little loop pop on your, your jump rings and your clasp of your choice and there's your bracelet